Hello, Junior Devs. Welcome back to our Coding Odyssey. Today, we're diving deep into the heart of our QB Core server. I'm excited because in this video, we're unraveling the vast tapestry of QB Core commands. Think of it as your treasure map to fast and efficient server development. If you're ready to turbocharge your server building journey, buckle up because we're about to navigate through nearly 100 commands that will elevate your QB Core experience. Trust me, this is the secret sauce that makes server crafting an art. So grab your virtual hard hats, sharpen your coding swords, and let's embark on a journey that will turn your server into a digital masterpiece. I'm Brave, and this is QB Core Command Mastery. Let's roll. Welcome, everyone, to the command center of our QB Core universe. In this video, we're diving into the meticulously crafted commands and script management provided by the official Cubicore. You'll find the link to this treasure trove in the description below. Upon entering the site, a wealth of articles and guidelines awaits you on the left side, offering insights into each script within Cubicore. I strongly encourage all of you to make the most of this invaluable resource. Now let's talk about the Crown Jewel, the free tutorial for OCOC scripts. These scripts like OCOCChat and OCONOTIFY are widely embraced across the 5M community, and personally, they're among my favorites. However, there's a catch. Some scripts are paid. My recommendation? Hold off on purchasing them until your server has a solid player base. Now, let's shift our focus to the pivotal part of this video, the array of commands available in QBE Core. I've previously demonstrated how to use the slash admin command in my part two video. So if you missed that, feel free to check it out. Slash blips is a straightforward command, granting you the ability to see players on your map. Slash names is equally simple, displaying the names of players as we explored yesterday. However, there is some basic stuff here that I won't teach you individually. I invite you to discover them on your own or stay tuned for future videos where we'll delve into these nuances. What we're going to do today is explore some cool commands that you'll find invaluable on your everyday developer journey. Let's jump back into the game and dive right in. For the first command, set a waypoint on your map, ensuring it's placed somewhere along the roadside. Now open the chat and type TPM. Yes, teleporting instantly to a set location is a basic yet crucial command. Remember, we're all learning from the basics. Now, let's spice things up. Need a snazzy car instantly? Open the chat, type slash car, and specify a model name. I'm a fan of the neon, so let's roll with that. What's next? Making this sleek ride officially yours. Drive it to a garage, open the chat, type slash admin car, and voila, it's your personal vehicle now. Don't forget to save it, and you can retrieve it at any time. Now. Let's cruise back to the city hall. By now you've picked up three basic commands that you'll use every day. But wait, there's more to learn. Let's delve into jobs and their grades. Choose a job and give it a shot. To check your current job, type slash job in the chat. There you have it, your job, grade, and duty details. Now, let's spice things up further. Find your ID by typing slash ID. And let's snag a whitelist job, let's say police. Type a slash set job, your ID, police four to set yourself as the chief of police, as Cubicore default has four job grades. Confirm with E slash job, and there you go, a quick lesson in job commands. Now, let's talk about the most essential item in the game, money. As an admin, you might need to adjust your funds. Simply type slash set money, ID cash amount, or slash set money, ID bank amount, to set the desired cash or bank balance. It's that easy with these nifty commands. To check your money, type slash bank or slash cash in the chat. Now, after watching the video, I want all of you to go ahead, explore, and test some of these commands. Choose the one you find most beneficial and let me know in the comments. If you have specific commands or information you'd like to learn more about, drop it in the comments and I'll be happy to help. Now, it's time to dip our toes into scripting. Don't worry, we're still in the novice phase. We'll explore how to add jobs, grades, and uncover some cool features in the QB Core. To begin, let's return to the QB Core base folder, navigate to the resource folder, then to QB Core, and finally open the shared folder. Head into the jobs folder. This is where you can edit all the job grades and tweak salaries, among other things. To illustrate, let's add a new grade in the police department. 
Copy line 25 and paste it on line 26, ensuring to press enter after line 25 for proper spacing. Now, instead of chief, let's label it high court. Save the file using the trusty Control plus S shortcut. Now let's restart the server to make sure our changes take effect. Keep an eye on the server status to know when it's back online. Once your server is up and running, head back into the game. Let's put our changes to the test. Remember the command I mentioned earlier in this video? Slash set job, your ID. Police 5. Now check it with a slash job, and there you go. We've successfully added a new job grade. Repeat the process for each job. As we wrap up today's session, I bid you farewell. In our next video, we'll dive into customizing the server, changing the name, logo, and enabling the target option. It'll be a short video as I aim to break down these topics into digestible bits. Until then, happy coding, and I'll catch you in the next one. I'm Brave, and this is QB Core Server.